So what do you get from there? Uh, so I'm a manager in a retail. Oh, nice. How long have you been working there for? There you go. Thank you. So what have you been up to today? Um, not much, really. Uh, my parents are away at the moment, so I've uh, just chilling on my own, got a few houses. So had friends around last night, but um, I'm actually on my own tonight, so I'm a bit scared. <laughs> but honestly, she's such a nightmare. Like, my mum really struggles. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I'm is sorry, it, sorry. Is there any on with uh, you? There might be a little bit. Wait, let me just, do you want me to get your tissue or something? Yeah, is that, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you one now. Okay, thank yeah, you. I'll get you one. I'll get you one. You are right. Yeah, it's just a bit annoying, but okay. Oh, don't worry about it. Anyway, cheers for a good night. Oh, cheers. You are right, guys? How's your meal for you? Yeah, it was um, nice and Yeah, good? Yeah. Anything else I can get for you? Uh, dessert? Um, no. Are you all right? Um, I've come over a bit funny. I think I'm going to make a move in a minute. Can I get the bill? Sigmund Freud is the grandfather of psychoanalysis. He was the first to come up with the idea of the subconscious. The idea that we're like icebergs. You can only see the top one tenth, the other nine tenths take place beneath the surface. These nine tenths come alive in our dreams. This begs the question, are we more alive when we're dreaming? This begs the question, who are you? Are you one singular being or are you an amalgamation of different personalities? When the dreamer doesn't see a need to change her ways, she will not feel threatened. Yet the arrival of Miss Perfect, how does that make the dreamer feel? Does Miss Perfect set an example of how to be? Of how the dreamer is lacking? What if the dreamer can never accomplish, can never achieve the status of Miss Perfect? Let me tell you, Miss Perfect is a symbol. Miss Perfect only exists as the tip of the iceberg. She represents nothing. The dreamer is wild, not tied to unachievable aims. The wild one is pure. She has been with the dreamer since birth. The wild one is the self's id, uncontained, the drive of urges. Feed me, the wild one cries. Give me warmth, give me space, give me love, give me freedom. The wild one does what she needs to survive. As she gets older, the wildness is controlled by the parents. These parents represent the law. I am the father. I am the law is what the father signifies. The law over time suppresses the wild one's urges. But this suppression, to what does it lead? Where does unending, unyielding, unbelievable feeling of being told what to do for every minute of every hour of every day for every year of your entire life lead? The dreamer can't bear this, can't stand it, but is trapped. The dreamer is a ball of rage. She is angry, she is angry, she can't take it anymore. No agency, bottling up this feeling of not being true, the angry dreamer will overheat, sweat and tears and blood pumping as rage pushes up from her skin, calling out screaming. The dreamer will wake herself, confused, unsure. She will wonder, what has just happened? 